Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be playing some more Construction Simulator. This is episode number 20 and wow I forgot to pick this up. So we are moving some prefabricated walls and I don't know if you can see it, it is coming in. Let's change the view back. Um, oh, where do we got to put this? Oh, can I put it on the second floor here? I bet you I can. Although I probably have to, uh, I probably have to walk out to this crate thing to uh, get rid of it. So I'm just going to park it on the main ground level. Let's detach. And then let's raise this up. Oop, not high enough. Oh, now we're too low. I'm trying to concentrate on one thing. It's kind of hard to do all three dimensions. I'm not, not very good with it yet. There we go. And I think this is the last one. Because I bought all the prefabricated walls when I went and did this. Imagine this thing just swinging through the swinging through the air if you're driving past. Okay, let's uh, bring it back, put it down around here. That looks pretty good. There we go. Let's hop out of here. And where do we gotta go? I'm starting to figure my way out. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in here now. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's unpack this. There we go. And this one. And I think we should be good to go now, guys. Oh, that's those stairs. I was wondering what that was. I'm going to try and keep the camera down a little bit so it doesn't, like... Oh my god, can't make it through this door. There we go. So it didn't, like, clip through the walls and stuff. Let's bring this up just a little bit. Over. Okay. Now what do we have on here? Double window? It looks like smaller windows. So over here. Ooh, I'm going the wrong way. I got it face it towards my crane so I can figure out what I'm doing here. It's pretty close, just a little bit more turn. Is that not it? Oh, there we go. So yeah, we got a double window, double windows. I guess three double windows, but uh, one of them is skinny. So I'll have to figure out which one's which. I'm guessing the skinny one's the end one on the right. Find out here. Oh, missed it. Big double window. Okay. That should be close. Oh, is this the... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically right on, so it must be the double window over here. Let's see how close this gets. Pretty close. Lower it down. Turn a little bit more sideways. Is it? Wait. It doesn't look like any of these ones. Right? Mm 
These windows look smaller than these and bigger than those. I don't know why it wouldn't fit in here. Okay, it must not be that one. I don't understand where it would go, though. Oh, we do have another box right here. I bet you this one's just not used on this floor. Let's just set this... Uh, let's set it down outside. No, I guess that works. We'll put it back in the box. I'm trying to take a little peek at the windows. Let's lower this down. I don't think it's any of those ones, so I think it's these this box over here. Just some of the windows are the same. We need the closest one to us. There we go. So I think we need the first, second, and the fourth. Let's see if this is there. All right. So this one should be the second. There we go. And it looks like it, it lights up just a slightly different color, so it is... It's hard to tell, but yeah, it looks like it's correct. Let's lower this down into place. Move it over a little bit, and out. There we go. Now we need the far end one, I believe. So I think these are sort of in order from left to right as to what we need. There we go. And let's see... Does this look correct? It does look like a lighter blue. I think we're good. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Lower it down. Okay, looks like I am wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why my throat's really dry. Is it... Okay, I guess we'll just grab the last one here. I think it must be that third one. There we go. But again, this is why you don't want to grab all your equipment right away, because you don't know what goes to what exactly. I don't know if this is it. Again, it looks like a lighter blue, but I don't know if that's the right one. The windows seem too big. Oh, okay. That works. Unpack materials, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go up to the second floor. How? Well, I remember I made stairs over here. I was going to say, how else do we get up there? There was that scaffolding we could use, but... Let's unpack this. And unpack this one over here. Should be daytime here pretty soon, guys. 
Now what are we doing? Unpack construction materials. Is this outside? Yes, okay. Oh, uh, that was not the stairs, that was the... Oh wait, yeah, we only need two floors. Um, we need to go in... Oh, this one works. Yeah, the sun's coming up right now. Got this unpacked here. Oh, that's a lot of boards. Ceiling element timber. All right, more uh, more craning, guys. Oh, I just missed it. There we go. Is that high enough? Looks like it. Perfect. Let's try and go all the way to the side over here. There we go. So what is it? Ten of these? That's not too bad. I don't know if they're the same size or not, but it looks like it's probably the same size. Nice. Oh, that one's a little bit low, but that's fine, I guess. Too high. There we go. Gotta bring that oh, <laughs> bring that back in towards us. We'll just go with wherever it lands. There we go. I think we're doing pretty good. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below what do you think we're doing. Good? Bad? Okay. I mean... We're getting the roof or what? It, yeah, this is the roof, right? Ceiling element timber. I guess I don't know if it's completely the roof, but it's a ceiling element. And it looks like the elevators go up to this floor, so maybe this is like a roof terrace kind of thing. Not really sure. There we go. Five left. Let's drop this down. A little bit too far there. A little bit too low. Here we go. Now we're going to be able to see. Perfect. A little too far again. Lower that. Perfect. Yeah, I feel like this is coming together pretty well. We gotta pull that in a lot and spin. And drop. Pretty dang close, I'd say. I mean, if we had to put in all of these, like, because we have the job scope set to medium, guys. If we had to do all of these, this would take forever. And not that I'm opposed to it, but it's already a little bit um, more repetitive than I would like uh, for oops, for some of these things. 
Gotta raise it up, don't I? There we go. Um, I just don't want to bore you guys with, like, the same thing over and over. And, like, this one, it's, it's ten of them over and over, but... Um, yeah, some of the things I feel like just are too much for this medium job scope. I, I kind of want to do one in the, the biggest job scope and just have it take, like, a really long time and, you know, do it super in-depth, kind of. But I don't want to bore you guys, so I don't know if I'll do that. I'm thinking about lowering it for the next one. But the next one is the last one of this uh, tree of contracts, so maybe not. I don't know. Let's uh, drop this down over here. Pull it back a little bit. There we go. It looks like part of this will be enclosed because we still have some wall pieces. I just thought about that. So maybe they have a few rooms up here that are enclosed. There we go. Last one, guys. I think we're high enough. Yes, we are. Let's lower it. Extend away from us. Spin. Lower. Oh, missed it. There we go. Okay, now we got these 57,200. Okay, I thought I seen the 520 and I was like, wait, did I miss that? Let's keep going down. There we go. See, like, none of these ones look like a different color to me. But this one, it's got more rectangular windows, it looks like. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's put these right here. Number one. We're 63% done, guys. Is that not right on? Oh, there we go. Oh, too far. Basically, we just pull this one straight into us and we're... we're good. Raise up, pull straight in, and pretty easy. That looks like it's there, just lower. There we go. I'll try and clear the wall this time before we retract. Oh, still hit it just barely. I thought we were good. And we're hitting the floor. That's okay. Oh, I forgot I gotta go up over the wall again. Uh, that looks like it's probably pretty close. There we go. Last one, guys. And it says we're 65%, so we might still have a lot of work to do. I'm not really sure. I feel like we're getting really close to being done, but if it's only 65, I don't really know. Okay. Unpack some more stuff. Let's go do that quick. Let's run through here. Might be a faster way up now, but this is the one way that I know. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we gotta go up another floor. Wow, that, that enclosed this whole floor. I wasn't expecting that. So we probably got to go up another level, huh, for the roof. Fifteen thousand for that? Oh gosh. Uh, unpack more construction materials out back. Okay, we can do that. What if we just go over here, go back, and go 
over. Oh, whoop. Am I stuck in here? Oh, okay, good. I was like, crap, because that goes to the basement. I didn't want to go all the way to the basement. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, we got a lot of work to do with the crane. 75% done though, actually, maybe it's not that, maybe it's not that much as much as I thought anyways. But yeah, having this really big crane is really helpful for this, because you have to do so much heavy lifting. And like, the other cranes could do it, but it's... This one, since it's in one place, and you can just retract in and out and stuff, like, it just makes it way easier, it seems like. Oh man, we have to go over this whole entire roof. Oh wait. No, that half's done. Okay. So we only gotta do about half. I raised this up really high, didn't I? Let's try and get this end one. There we go. Wow, so is that... Is that three pieces across, or is that... I'm not sure if that's three or not, but it looks like it might be. Can't I can't even tell how high we are. Oh wow, it looks like it is three across. Oh, maybe they're two different sizes. You got two long ones and a shorter one. Just trying to get the farthest one away from us first. There we go. Sure. I thought I was going to land in that end one. I was just kind of shooting for one of the ends too, but that works. Oh, it's like it says I'm right there. Kind of cool to watch the shadow of the crane go across the ground and stuff too. Might be easier just to leave it low and just swing it across. You can get all of them in, in one area. Yeah, if you guys see any hammers off in the background or stuff, uh, let me know. I gotta collect a lot of those still. Let's uh, grab this. There we go. I know there's one off to my right right now that I've seen a few times, but I haven't collected it. And I don't know if they do anything for you really, but... Probably wouldn't hurt to collect them, right? Not go out of my way, but... There we go. So it looks like after this we'll have to pour a bunch of cement and then I think we might be done with most of the stuff, guys. There we go. A lot of crane work on this one. I suppose a lot of these are a lot of crane work, though, because you're building some pretty massive structures. Like, one of these is the size of our semi-trailer. That's what it looks like anyways.
Still got one more underneath it. Jeez, there's a lot of these things, man. How many have we done? We've done six out of 21. Holy smokes. So each of these must be like seven across, huh? And we've done a total of seven now. So we're one third of the way through with this. I bet you each pile of these is seven. That makes sense. Because we got three, like two, two piles of long ones and a pile of a little bit shorter ones that are still pretty huge. That'll work. Probably not how you would uh, normally do it if you're actually doing construction like this, but in this case, it's okay. Let's grab this. Nice, we cleared it. Now we just gotta go straight away and lower. Perfect. Gotta move it all the way back in. And lower. A little bit higher. A little bit more. There we go. Perfect. These ones are a little easier because it's just like extend away and uh, yeah, extend away and then drop it down, raise it up and drop it down. You don't have to do as much movements it seems like. Oh, too too low already. Okay. We'll see how that works. Oops. So that was already far enough, all right. So the last view we might even just have to bring in. Let's just see. Because this is... Yeah, we do have to bring them in. So I'm just a little too high. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Twelve out of twenty one. So yeah, these little ones seem to be going faster, to me anyways. You guys will have to let me know what you think. There we go. That was perfect. Super quick. Quick and easy. <laughs> this roof looks so funny now, it's like got stairs on it and then that one's kind of just popped out over there. Nice. Another pretty quick one. And another one in place. Pretty quickly. Yeah, these little ones are going way faster because it just seems a little easier for me to spin. There we go. I shouldn't say easier for me to spin, but it's less movement back and forth. I can kind of just spin. I mean, I guess the whole thing is just a big spin, right? But 
the other ones are kind of a little different angle. So I guess I'm not as good with it. Or not as good at judging how far I need to extend away or bring it in or whatever. There we go. Now, we're, I think we're getting the hang of this crane. We're starting to move pretty good. Oh, I dropped it? What? I mean, I did hit the button to drop it, but... There we go. Well, that was a little more work than it needed to be because I dropped it a little early, but oh well. Try and get back on this side for the view. I think I'm starting to realize that it's a little easier if you're higher than it to keep lowering down into it if you got it green. But if you're lower than it, sometimes you can't tell. So you might have to go higher or lower. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, I feel like we're making really good time now. I'm starting to get used to how far I gotta spin and how high I gotta raise and... Nice. Yeah, this is a pretty big building we're making here. done. Two more and then we probably just got to cement the whole roof or something. Oh, I didn't even notice the percentage change, didn't it? We're at 78 now. I think we were at 75 earlier. Or maybe if we unpacked it we went to 78, I'm not really sure. Just a little bit. There we go. I raised it up just a little bit and I went right over it and then I had to drop back down just a little bit. There we go. Concrete the ceiling. Alright, let's bring this crane all the way up and in so it's out of the way. I think anyways. Let's get it way up here. Kind of put it as far out of the way as we can. And let's hop in. I don't know why I went over here. So I gotta start in this truck first. And then let's do... Oh wait, no. We, we got it right. We just gotta open it up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Maybe I'll just cement the back side? Or I guess the, the back side from where we are right now. And then, uh... We can cement the, uh, the front later, maybe? Oh wait, we can, we can go down with this. 
Yeah. We can get pretty far out that way. So let's do this. Open the hopper. Hop out. So for anybody who doesn't know, that just opened up this... Oh, I guess it didn't even open. Because my cement truck's in the way, I think. So let's pull that forward just a little bit. And it still didn't open. Which is fine. Let's hop in. Open or close? Let's see, did it open? I'm so far away I can't tell. Oh my god. Why is it still closed? Alright, let me now try it one more time. Uh, F. Open. And exit. Okay, so maybe it did open, or was open, but it was just looking closed when I uh, did it the first time or whatever. Oop, there we go. Let's turn this on. Hop out. And let's start pouring, I guess. Kind of hoping to pour that whole back area. And we're out of cement. Bummer. Okay, let's go to the map. It's fast travel. Yes. And here we go. Let's uh, fill this thing up. And we're almost halfway. There we go. Map. Fast travel. Yes. I was just looking at my, uh... Oop. Probably should have, uh, stopped looking at it. The, uh, repair points and fuel down in the bottom. This is kind of a nice spot to be, uh... Bringing the truck, because it's kind of open back here. So I like it. Oops. I gotta turn this on first. Then we can hop out. Hop back in. I want to pour this whole corner, so I'm hoping that it kind of fills it in. Doesn't look like it's spreading out though. Let me go a little bit further. Oh, wrong one. Let's see if we can reach all the way to that. Oh, we can go over it now. I think that's about as far as we can reach. Yeah. Alright, well... Kind of just pouring it in the line, guys. We do got to go back and fill that in a little bit. Oh, I didn't like that it just switched the view on me there. Trying to go a little bit slow so that it, it fills it in all the way. Yeah, I guess we got the speed now. 
as I go faster. Seven percent done. Wow. This is going to take a lot of money of cement for sure. And I can't go any more um, this way because this crane is in the way. So this is it. So let's retract it a little bit. Kind of like right by the edge there. I'm just kind of pour along this. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So you can extend a little bit further. There we go. Kind of fill in that gap. And we got one there, kind of fill that in. I didn't realize how close this truck is on fuel and repair points for this uh, mixer here. I think we'll, uh, we'll go get this one repaired and refueled here. When we run out of cement, which we should any second now, I think. So we'll go get more uh, cement, and then we'll... Actually, yeah, we'll repair this, and then we'll go get more cement, and then we'll come back. Actually, I might make more... more more sense to get the cement first because I'm going to have to park this truck first before that one. So I need the cement one to be out of the way. Okay, right now we're running out and we are out. Okay. Let's hop out. Hop in. Let's go get some cement. Wait, what? Oh, I must not have clicked on it. Okay, let's fill this up. There we go. Now we can go back. And we'll just uh, hop out here. We'll go over. I should have drove this truck back. Yeah, I still can, I guess. So we can make it a little faster. We'll drive. Oh, ooh, that was close. Drive this over here. We'll go get this one refueled and repaired and come back. So let's do F reset and drive mode. There we go. It's a good time for it anyways. It's nighttime. It's fast travel here. So it looks like we're probably at like a quarter tank, maybe a third, something like that. So we'll refuel. $700 repair. Oh man, 11000 almost $12,000. Let's go back here. 
That's a lot of money for uh, repairing. So I guess that reminds me, you know what I should do? Actually, here, let's do this. Let's hop in here. Let's go over here and refuel and repair this one. Because it's only a little amount, this is going to save us a little bit of money. Um, actually, I was going to test this. Uh, Telemenis gave me an idea that maybe I should use the controller to drive these... And yes, this makes it... Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, this is way easier. So the left trigger is one track, the right trigger is the other. Oh, that's it. Okay. Repair. There we go. And then let's hop out. And let's go... Okay, I'm going to turn this off now. Oops. Let's go to company vehicle fleet and re return this to storage. So we have the trailer out, the cat, that, the crane. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, good. The reason I wanted to repair this one quick is because it uh, the price is cheaper to repair that one. And since the price is cheaper, I, I need to repair like 25 times, refuel and repair. So I might as well do it when it's almost fully fixed and just save a little bit of money. And then I can send them to the shop the rest of the time after that and they'll just get fixed on their own. So I wanted to refuel and repair it before I sent it into the shop to get fixed. Actually, I got an idea. I'm going to go over to this side so I can get this part. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel, and odds are if you guys like this type of content, you guys like content that I've made in the past, and also content that I will make in the future. So, as always, stay tuned to the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.